saying that they they don't they're not going to buy save the world because it's going to go free and that it's really pointless and that you can get battle royale which is way better and way more fun for free and things like that and the people that do get Fortnite save the world they only really buy it for the V bucks and you know cuz you can um do the collection book which gives you up to 800 V bucks per thing that you do um you can also do the daily challenges uh, daily rewards that every time you log on you get so many viewers as you can see if I log on as many more days as I do I get 150 V bucks every time so yeah that's that's a whole lot of more reason why people are buying save the world not to play it really but the people that do buy it to play it and I mean good on them but most people just get bored of it fast and here's why in this video I'm at I'm going to show you why people get bored of this. So, I'm going to go into... It, oh, whoops, lag. I'm going to go into, let's just say, this this place right here. And do a little mission. So, if you were wanting to get Save the World, I... Here are some of the bad things. So... One sec. So, and that you're always doing the same thing. Most missions aren't different in any way. But, like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. But if you do want to play it, if you do want to get this game, it is a lot of fun. It lasts up to like a month of playing straight. Um, that's how I did it. I mean, I got quite bored of it afterwards. And I'm just going to be doing um, walkthrough videos on it for the moment. But you upgrade, you get cool gun schematics, you get cool guns, and that's about it. And then you use those guns to kill zombies. And it's so repetitive, it does get boring fast. And the one other bad thing is that there's a lot of people who scam. See, a lot of people try to trade weapons. Like, um, they always, you place your weapon down over here. And then they'll place their weapon down somewhere else. And then they say, oh yeah, we'll run and get each other's weapon. And then they just scam you. I don't know how they can put down the wrong weapon that they say it was. But it's actually not that weapon. And they can, you know... Uh, pack it back up and then sprint over to you want to take yours and scam you. Um, there's a lot of different ways that people scam you, but yeah, it's, it's not very good. Um, now, the good things that happen, let me think. Well, yeah, good things. Um, well, you get a do you do get a lot of good playtime out of that month when it's not boring, in my opinion. And like the times that you get like a really good gun or something, or a really good character, it it gets you so hyped, and they really aren't that worth. So, in like in general, I must say that Fortnite Save the World probably isn't worth buying. I guess if you add up the amount of V-Bucks that you get, it could be worth. But the thing is that you have to play a lot to even get over a thousand V-Bucks. And how much are you paying for this game again? What is it? Like 30 bucks? It really isn't worth it. I mean, you have to buy this game to enjoy and play the game. Really, compared to V-Bucks, I mean, people say that, oh, you should, you should get the Save the World because you get free V-Bucks. But it's really not just as easy as that. I always say that to people, and I mean, I've enjoyed playing this game, and I haven't played it too often, if I'm being honest, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it because I wanted the game, not because of V-Bucks. When I bought the game, I didn't even know you could get V-Bucks from it, to be honest, but that's just my opinion. You can still get Save the World if you want V-Bucks. I mean, it's probably not as worth unless you actually play the game. You are getting free V-Bucks and a game. 
But whenever I got free V-Bucks, I didn't save it up and use it on Save the World or anything. I always used my V-Bucks um, in actually, like, actually using it in Save the World. You buy llamas and things. So, yeah, that's basically the review. And, um, hope you guys have a little bit more understanding of Save the World now before you buy it. And, uh, yeah. See you later.